So this craftsman's been sitting for a while. He's tired of waiting. We've got the chain tires. We're going to put the chain tires on. Try to get some kind of engine on it. Then some clear coat. Maybe a pulley swap while we're putting the engine on. And maybe a small low horsepower engine with a pull start. Some easy to operate. Just thinking out loud. The tires are now on. So we're here in the shop. I've got the old rusted out John Deere deck and I've got some pulleys, some wheels, some uh, blades and pulleys. And we may use those someday. Uh, this go to the scrap yard, sell it for scrap. And the go-kart is in the shop. I'm going to pull the engine off the go-kart. So the go-kart engine is now off and the clutch is off of the engine. Making progress. So the steering's basically froze up and sometime real soon we got to find some new front tires. This one has a plug in it. They use a screw to plug it. Like the wheels, gotta find some tires for them. Oh, and if you look up, there's an engine sitting in place. All we need for this engine, there's a bolt hole that lines up. We need three more bolt holes drilled, a pulley, and a belt. And so the dog is investigating. We have a Predator. Predator has just shown up. It is a 212 Predator. About to go on a go-kart. Never been out of the box. There it is. Get out. Will it? Nope. Guess it's time to go get a clutch, maybe a new gear here, maybe a chain, four bolts. Should be good to go. Three quarter inch shaft. Right now, the pull rope is aiming right at the seat. I'm gonna pull these three bolts out and rotate it. There we go. More. More? What do you think? Yeah, about like that. Now it is front tire decision time. I've got a stock size tire. That's a 16, it's eight inch wheel. This is a 20, eight inches wide, already cut. That was on the back of the dually dually when it was a dually dually. Uh, over here we've got a 20 by 10 inches wide. That came on the back of the John Deere. I'm kind of leaning towards that one, but these are already cut. Uh, I'll let you know. Maybe, uh, maybe you decide for me in this video. So just came from the hardware store, got some bolts to bolt the engine on with, went to tractor supply, got a pulley, got a belt, stopped by a yard sale, got a bimini top for the boat, and a pole holder for the boat, and I got a light for the tractor. That's three projects going on right now. Three projects. You got anything you want to say? So I was just on the way to tractor supply, I got a belt, a pulley, and a light for the tractor. So I just drilled a hole here. There was almost a hole in the right place, off by about an inch. Now let's see if the motor will bolt on. And I might start it up, make sure it still runs before we go through all the trouble. That's next. Okay, the other side is in. This side is in. We'll put a couple nuts on it, put some gas in it, and see if it'll start. So I just put a shot of gas in it, and we'll pull the rope, see what happens.
ready to go wide open. Step next would be get this pulley on. I'll take the uh, put the key in it and tighten up those Allen bolts. Then we'll get the belt on it. But for now, it's getting stormy. I'm getting hungry. The ribs are done. I'm gonna put you on hold. And that's pretty much centered up with the hole the belt has to go through. I've got my Allen wrench right here. We'll tighten up the Allen bolts. Start running the belt. And so far we've got $10 in the mower. I think the pulley was $19. I don't really know the price on the pulley. Can't find the receipt. The belt was a trade out. I had an old belt that didn't fit anything. Took it back, traded. So, oh, and $2.88 for these four bolts. Tires are off. We're going to put the dually duallys when it used to be dually dually, dually in the front. We're going to put two of those on there. Let me get the grease gun. So, when I started this project, I didn't realize there was no clutch linkage. I went in the garage, I found this rod, it is perfect, but it's about two inches too long. I put it in there, I said, oh, that's just right, but when I pulled the clutch up, two inches too long. So I'm gonna use this piece of chain and these two bolts. We'll have a temporary chain clutch, or maybe permanent, who knows. I've got the 98 inch belt on, but the original engine was about seven inches. This one's about four inches from the, where you mount the motor, so that makes my 98 inch belt too long so we're going to take take that off try to find a shorter belt or take that one back and get a shorter belt or we could jack the engine up three inches that would keep it out of water that much better i'm thinking shorter belt right now so i found a belt in the garage that was slightly shorter i think it's a little bit loose but it might be good enough for a test drive give us a good place to uh, start on finding a belt. So now with the loose belt on, there's no seat, there's no throttle, there's no kill switch. I'm ready to ride. At least I got the spring taken off the carburetor that keeps it from going wide, that makes it go wide open. There's a valve. I'm gonna fire it up. Okay, there's now a wire hooked up to the throttle that I can control from the driver's seat that don't exist. So what I just figured out, I was putting forward and it was backing up. I was putting in reverse and it was going forward. That means we'd have three speeds in reverse and one, yeah. Uh, this engine may have to go on something else. It's got a reverse rotation versus the oppie that was on it. May have to put a pin in this project for just a little bit. Back burner it. So I got the hood back on it. If you've got any ideas or suggestions what you want me to do with it, I don't have an oppy engine that runs. That'd be an easy fix. Give me some ideas. So my belt came off. It's a little bit too big. 
I'm gonna try again. I've got it back on. You know, just go forward and backward a little bit, just for the fun of it. So we're out with a steel wheel grill again, grilling a steak. That's a T-bone. I'm going to see if she'll flip it for us. The burgers are already done. We're waiting on the steak now. Mmm, looks good.